one. This is a recording to show you how we record uh, reimbursable grants in QuickBooks Online. A reimbursable grant is where the donor agrees to a certain amount of money. In my example, it will be $10,000. And you spend the money first, and then you are reimbursed for the money, uh, for, the, for the funding, up to the amount of the grant. Uh, in that case, uh, my favorite example is a battered women's shelter has an agreement with the city to run a hotline. I actually ran into this. At the end of every month, they invoice the city for uh, all expenses relating to running the hotline, and the city then pays them. So they spent the money first, and then they invoice the city in this case, and then they are reimbursed. That's a reimbursable grant. In grants, in QuickBooks Online, we use projects. I'm going down here to my projects folder. To create a new project, we simply go here. Mine will look a little different than yours. I suspect this is QuickBooks Advanced. Most nonprofits use QuickBooks Plus. The screen is a bit simpler. So here I simply type in the grant name. And then here I have to find the uh, donor. I can also create the donor here. Uh, simply save this. That's all there that's involved. You can also put in notes or details. I'm not going to save this because I've already created a reimbursable grant. And here you can see the reimbursable grant. So in my dashboard, as soon as I click on it, I go to the dashboard screen. And you can see that I've had zero income on this grant. Whereas I have 2000 481.97 that I have spent. So the grantor then owes me 2,481.97. So I have to get that money from the grantor. You will note that in the title, I put that it's a $10,000 grant. In this manner, I can keep an eye on how much money I have remaining on the grant. It's not the my favorite method, but it is effective. So let's look at how I recorded the costs. I'm gonna to go to Project Reports. I'm gonna to go to View. And here we see a detailed breakdown of how the money has been spent, which is what I can use to give to my grantor to say, hey, please give me the money. Uh, and I haven't received any money on this as of yet. So I'm going to drill down to show you how this is done and drill down again. And here's the input screen. I simply used an expense input screen, input form. Um, this particular one I charged my visa. You can see who that was. Dues expense. And here is where you assign the expense to the project, which in our case is a grant. And you can see that I selected the grant and that is associated with the grantor. It's divided here with a colon. You can barely see the colon here. So first you have the grantor and then you see the grant. And as you can see, I have created two grants for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The reimbursable grant we're looking at today and the traditional grant, which I showed in an earlier video. So once you've done that, then you've assigned these, these costs to the appropriate grant. I'm just going to escape here and go back. So they, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation owes us $2,400 relating to this reimbursable grant. We need to get our money. So I can go here and create an invoice. And of course, I could also go to new and create an invoice or a pledge. I'm gonna go here because it'll fill in some of the screens for me. And you can see that it's put in the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. There's our colon. And then it gives for the reimbursable grant. It records it for the reimbursable grant. I come down here, this is going to be grant revenue. 
And here I have the amount of 2,481.97. Save and close. And now you can see that I've received $2,400 in income. I've had $2,400 in, in costs and I have zero profit. I want to show you one other tip. Again, I told you up here, you put in $10,000. So I have a rough idea that I have about $7,500 left to spend on this grant. The other thing I want to show you is you go to project reports and view. And I can go up here and select all dates. Let's say that you are invoicing the Gates Foundation every month. So at the end of the month, you simply say, I want this month's activity and run the report. And of course, in this particular case, it shows that I have the revenues, but it would also show you the expenditures because you would have done this at the end of last month. This is one fast way to get all of the expenditures for the current month that have to be invoiced. Thank you.